Welcome back. 75 degrees, the current temperature outside. So uh, still a bit humid out there. Dew points above 70 degrees. The winds are calm out there. Hour by hour, though, we're going to stay in the 70s. So a warm night tonight. Tomorrow, a warm day. Warmer than today. Mid 80s likely with some peaks of sun. More sun than today, but not a lot of sun. So not the best for outdoor activities, but don't cancel any plans. We're not looking at any washouts. Uh, for the next couple of days. Sunday is the best day, especially if you want to head to the pool. 93, mostly sunny, maybe a pop up storm. And then here we go. I'm going to be busy. The whole weather team is going to be busy this weekend and into Monday and Tuesday. This is when we're a bit concerned with Hurricane Isaias. It, likely a tropical storm by the time it impacts us, but a strong one. It could bring us some very strong winds uh, throughout the entire peninsula. So we're expecting breezy to windy conditions, storms, heavy rain. We're more confident when it comes to heavy rain and flooding. Flash flooding likely as we head into Monday night and into your Tuesday, and that causes major problems. The wind, we're not as concerned yet, but stay tuned through the weekend because our confidence will go higher. Definitely windy, especially at the beaches as we head through the next couple of days here. So uh, we're looking at those winds likely continuing as we head into your Tuesday as that system wraps up and heads to our north. Just be sure to stay tuned, guys. All right, thanks, Daniel. Before we go, we do want to shine a spotlight on an athlete who was primed for a big senior season. Dover's Keon Malone was a member of the star-studded class for the Dover Senators baseball team. Yeah, Keon has come through with a number of big hits for the Senators in his career, but most notably the go-ahead home run against their biggest rivals, Cape Henlopen. He and his teammates felt this could be the year they finally bring a championship home, and that team was loaded. Instead, Keon will now go on to play at Dell Tech. He'll play in the outfield and he plans to major in business and one day hopes to open up his own business. Here's more from Keon about his biggest high school moment that go ahead Homer over Cape. It was the last inning and we were down by one. And it was a full count and you know, that was the last pitch and I just swung and hit the ball and it went, <laughs> went out the park. You know, it was a lot of um, a lot of pressure and I just came through a lot. <laughs> I was just, I was so anxious to cross the plate. Uh, I was waiting, I see my teammates waiting for me and it was just a lot of encouragement for my teammates. Julian, moments like that are why we love amateur sports. We are so devastated that they are not happening right now in our, in our current time, but uh, there is going to be another time that you sports will return. That is true. Stay hopeful, my friends. Stay yes, hopeful. that's going to do it for our show tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Same time next week, but you can stay up to date through the week on social media by following us. Have a great night.